good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to the channel so as you can see I have a lot of stuff in my hand today documents bags laptop and whatnot um today we're going to be starting another install not my car this time um another customer um so stay tuned and then we'll go we'll get right into that should be fun okay so we have this beauty here today and we have the man Vibert right Vibert has a IS200 similar to the one we did the last time but this one does not have the free SGE in it this one has a 1G FE I would open up the the, the, the bonnet here So you can see something totally different six cylinders Vibert is also installing a supercharger Vibert yep yeah Vibert is also installing a supercharger on this one so we're just getting it prepped for the ECU and after that he's going to finish up the supercharger and then we'll finish off the tuning with the supercharger when he gets it installed right let's go on the inside see what we're working with okay so we have the harness already done Vibert bought the ECU setup from the previous Altezer the white one with the free S because Yogi ended up selling the car he took off the ECU so we're just basically adding a few more the injector output since I only did it for a four cylinder we add in the injector outputs and we add in a control wire for the supercharger clutch. So we're just going to wrap that up and install his white band and hopefully before the end of the day have it running on the Speedwayno and start with some tuning. Okay, so at this point the harness has been fished through the firewall. A couple of tie straps holding it there loosely. So the harness modified for six cylinder now it's going to be running batch injection um let's go on the inside the dash has been removed this is the ecu end some other wires here for launch going to the clutch switch uh five volts for the white band and the white band input goes through the firewall And back out here so the last step is to just hook up our harness and the white band and we should be ready to fire okay it's a bit windy but at the end of the day we have the speedrunner harness coming out here intent on cutting a piece out of here Meted to the factory and it's still rough now we have some temporary labels so we don't get stuff mixed up um, tomorrow we plan on cleaning up the wiring some bit a bit more installing the white band and what else have it yeah and tune yeah so we added the connectors so these are the speedrunner connectors so now he can swap between the speedrunner and his factory issue by just changing the connectors here right now he has his factory computer wired in which he will then upgrade now by starting the car for us so this car should start right up because it's on the factory you see <laughs> on the factory computer so next up we're going to try to start it tomorrow on the speedo in the okay so at this point um, the wide the white band is wired in um, what else factory ECU is still connected fiber is waiting patiently Speedwayno ECU is connected. Um, we already marked the crank pulley. So what we're going to do now, we're going to start it up on the factory ECU and just verify that Speedwayno is getting its RPM signal. Car should run just fine. 
um, in parallel with the speed, you know. And then when we satisfy, we get an RPM and temperature. Temperature sensors and all are reading correctly, wideband and whatnot. We're then going to switch the control of the fuel and the spark over by switching the connectors here to the speed window. Then we're going to sync time in, and if all is well, we're going to take it out for a drive, do some tuning, and then after that, we're going to come back and knit up all the wiring. We don't want to close up the harness just yet, in case we have any bugs or anything we need to fix. So, this is how the wiring stays for now. Then we're going to go back and tie strap and make everything look really neat. Okay, so we went ahead and calibrated the TPS, the temperature sensors, and the wideband. So we're going to try the startup vibe and make sure you're neutral. And then we should get battery. Okay, I'm gonna double check the battery connection. gonna start up okay so we have RPM temperature sensors are working fine we have vacuum and we have FUL ratio 59 14 0. so we have everything pretty much working good on the factory issue. All sensors are reading correctly. Let's verify. So we have about 900 RPM here. And we have about 900 here. So next step, we're going to switch to the speed radar. Moment of true five it. Excited? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're attempting a true first start. So the speed radar is now hooked up. Put the key on five it. Uh, we're not sure of trigger angle, but I have the time light hooked up. So if it starts, uh, I'm just going to verify trigger. So go ahead and try to swing like it. Okay, give it a little throttle, a little gas. Just about, yeah, not so much, a little bit less. Alright, go. Okay, all right, so first start was not a success. We'll try to start it off camera and then take it from there. All right, so take two. Um, we found some issues. Number one, the battery was dead. Um, couldn't give us a second swing. And number two, I had the trigger setting set to zero. So I set it to something a bit more well, accurate, what I think will work. And we are about to do a take two. Red rabbit on this video, no easier. You close? Get a little gas. Alright. Okay, I'm going to play the trigger a little bit and we'll try again. Okay, so after take what? Take five, take six. <laughs> take five. After take five, we have it running idling really rich but we're going to verify the timing now and then move on to some tuning but it runs on the speed window. okay so with the trigger set we have well, minor idle tuning 12.5 pulling more vacuum than the factory ECU idling about 600 rpm so right now we just going to adjust the throttle body to bring idle RPM up a little bit and then take it out on the road. But it's idling really, really, really smooth, really good on the base map. Factory ECU disconnected. All right, so we're about to take the car out on its maiden voyage to get some fuel and do some initial street tuning. Right, Robert? Yep. All right. Starts up pretty quick. All right, so we're going to pick up with some progress when we get on the road.
Okay, so we are out for our final drive of the day. Basically, we did some initial tuning. Hope to finish up tomorrow, but for the most part, it's driving pretty good. Um, air fuel ratios are good, torque is good, idle is good, and we in some traffic here now, and the car is behaving beautifully. Acceleration fuel cut is on, so he has the engine braking. about to head back so we can finish up the wiring mess knit it up and we'll call it a day and then hopefully tomorrow do some more wide open throttle tuning and please ignition timing a bit more Just about wrapped up for the day. That's some of the wires tucked up. We're gonna finish it up tomorrow. Speed on is here. Vibrant has the MS driver on his phone so he can log on his way home. I lean about a 13, 14, 4, 45. Something good. Two step installed, right, Vibrant? Yep. No flames, but you have two step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. It's gonna wrap it up for today. We're going to hopefully pick up tomorrow with some more wide open photo tuning. Yes, sir.